Yes, we are back in the studio, Swanky Studios. With the new movie Guardians around the corner, the director of the film, Kennedy Lucas, takes you behind the production. Now, I wanted to make this new film, Guardians, because it was something... This was something very fun I wanted to do. If you guys can remember back, my first thriller movie was Conviction. And that movie was okay. You know, that movie, we we did what all we could do. Um, I think... I think we could have done better in that movie, but, you know, I'm happy that, you know, Conviction was more of a learning experience for me, and I was able to, you know, put together some elements and some new things with this movie, Guardians, and it's just something very spectacular. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of our crew really enjoy making this movie. I enjoy making the movies than I am, you know, premiering the movies or giving the movie out and just making sure that people are watching the movie. Um, Guardians took about about eight months to make. Um, there was a lot of elements going into it, you know. We're going through uh, AI and AR technology, so that's augmented reality and um, augmented intelligence when making this movie so you'll notice in all the movie uh, all the characters in the movie t16 mk3 uh, skara um professor blender or dr blender you know those are augmented reality characters that we were able to build and my secret <laughs> i give you guys my secret my secret about it is i was able to put AR characters that we build and we, we blend them together, we model them together, all you have to do is put them in front of a green screen and then that's how you're able to create that cinematic uh, storyline and that cinematic uh, narrative that you're bringing to your, your characters, you're bringing it to life. My key process is I wanted this movie to be different than all my others. Now I know I say, I, I say that a lot to a lot of people out there. I say that, you know, oh, this movie's better than this one. Oh, this movie's different than this one. You know, when we made The Dark Matter, you know, we thought, okay, you know, this is a great kickoff for 2020. Um, I wanted to make something very clean and something that I could relate to. DC Comics, you know, Batman being my favorite DC character. So we were able to make that movie. And now with this movie, it's a cliche when I say, you know, this movie's better than that one because we're adding so many elements. We're adding not only AR, we're adding, you know, sound effects. We're adding uh, different effects. My purpose for the for the movie specs of things, you know, you'll see in the movie, and you know, I put it out for our social media. Um, Dr. Lucas Stevens is particularly one of my favorites because I'm voice acting Dr. Lucas Stevens, and his character is more of an empowerment so like you know everyone can be a hero in their own way so you hence the name dr lucas stevens you know my middle name actually is lucas so i i wanted to relate myself to dr lucas stevens because he's you know intelligent he's powerful he's ambitious you know you know you'll see that in the movie so i related myself to dr lucas stevens and um we were able to add his effect and his his character um, you saw his, his superpower, you know, it's, you know, custom designed by our art department here at Swanky Studios. And uh, I can't give credit to, you know, his power up aura. You know, I wanted to kind of have that accolade of Dragon Ball Z. You know, if you guys know about Dragon Ball Z, you know, when they power up, they have that aura around them. So I thought, you know, why don't we build that? Why don't we green screen that and see what it looks like? And at first I thought I was going to have like a small little aura around Dr. Luke Stevens, but I thought, okay. Dragon Ball Z, you know, when they power up, you have that that that, that highlight. I'm like, let's add that highlight to Dr. Lucas Stevens. Let's see what that looks like. And then I wanted my art department to create it. I don't want to just take it from some other source because there's a thing about filmmaking when you're, you're using elements that is used somewhere else. You want to create kind of a similar tone to that. You don't want to just copy it because if you just copy it, then that kind of goes to stealing, you know, so... I wanted to have my art department build that and, and see what it looks like, and it works. Um, my idea, <laughs> you guys saw in the trailer, you know, I have Robin from Teen Titans, and I have um, Green Hill from Halo, and then I've got Mr. Incredible from Disney and Pixar. So my idea, my inspiration actually was 
um, from the Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts movie uh, games that I've played. You know, Kingdom Hearts have all these characters, like you have uh, Pixar, you have Toy Story, you have Jack Sparrow, you have uh, different characters, you have Monsters uh, Incorporated, the monsters, you have all these characters into this one storyline. So that's kind of the idea for Guardians is I wanted to make this a, a sci-fi cinematic but I wanted to add some sort of funny element so you'll see in the movie where Mr. Incredible has this scene it's just like oh man Mr. Incredible's in my movie uh, you have Robin from Teen Titans as a, as a key character in the film so I wanted to create that atmosphere uh, of, of characters that you know we can relate to but we bring it on to a different scale um, so I wanted to create, um, like I mentioned, a cinematic universe. You know, you have different, um, you have different production studios, not only here in Atlanta, but all over. Um, for an example, you have Pinewood that does Marvel movies, and and Marvel has their um, their name to it. They have the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I thought, you know, hey, you know, Marvel's doing it. Why why can't we not do it here, at Swanky Studios? So we're calling it, of course the uh <laughs> the swanky vision cinematic universe so what that is is i'm telling a story from my perspective and i'm bringing these characters so you'll see um the characters involved not only in this movie and then just a sh little trailer for you guys you know they're going to be more uh guardians movies that we're going to bring to the table some of them we already wrote down and have the script down so i'm creating what and it is kind of my 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 envision and, and i am a you know a learner a student from marvel because they have you know nine different movies ten different movies that tell the same story so that's kind of what we want to do here at swanky studios is we want to have that storyline base storyline and then we're going to expand more storylines to it and um I, I can't wait to see the future uh with uh you know my 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 my, my thing of, of guardians i'm i'm quite excited hello everyone director of the new movie guardians kennedy lucas here Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little behind the scenes look and my vision for the film. I really hope you guys enjoyed the film when it comes out June 26, 2020. Of course, it's going to be a Friday at 7 p.m. So it's going to be launched on YouTube at 7 p.m. as a premiere. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And of course, for my Facebook people, you'll get that movie a little bit later on demand. Swanky Studios presents Guardians, June 26, 7 p.m. premiere.